بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all throughout the Quran affirms Tawheed, the worship of Him and Him alone and negates shirk and that lets us know that that's what our da'wah should be and that's the da'wah of Ahl sunnah that's what we call to we call the kitab illah wa sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone not to the worship of His creation or His, his signs that we see in the creation no matter how beautiful Majestic they are. They're mere creation. From him they came and to him they shall return. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. To Allah we came. We came from Allah. Meaning he created us subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to him we shall return. Meaning that we will die. And we'll be resurrected. And held accountable for our actions. Before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Lord of the world. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Ya ayyuhal ladheena Ya ayyuhal nasa taqu rabbukum al ladheekh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Ya ayyuhal nasa sa'budu rabbukum al ladhee khalaqakum wal ladheena min qablakum la'alakum tattakoon Oh you mankind Allah addresses mankind in this verse Ya ayyuhal nasa sa'budu rabbukum Worship your Lord, that's a command Anytime Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us, we know that it's an obligation. And the fuqaha, they say, Al-Amr, yufidhul wujub. That when there's a command, it is evidence that it is an obligation. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya yuhan nas a'budu rabbukum. So he orders mankind to worship him. That means all of humankind, no matter your race, your color, your orientation, that you're ordered to worship your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala who created you. Ya yu nas, ya yu nas a'budu rabbukum, aladhi khalakukum, the one who created you, waladhina min qablakum, he created those who came before you, la'ala, waladhina min qablakum, la'alakum tatakum, in order that you would fear him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, الَّذِي جَعْلَ لَكُمُ الْأَرْضِ فِرَاشِ The one who made the earth as, as if it's like a carpet or a bed or a, a resting place. And that's, that's what the earth is. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why there's nothing worthy of worship except Allah. He created this. He created this earth so that we could benefit from it. Not destroy it, not abuse it, but use it to reflect upon and to worship Him alone. Aladi jala la arda firash wa sama binaan and the sky. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala created the sky with pillars. Wa anzana min al sama imaan and He sent down from the sky, from the heavens, or from the from the sky. Rain, Subhanahu wa Taala. وَأَنزَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءٍ فَأَخْرَجَ بِهِ مِنْ ثَمَرَاتِ رِزْقٍ لَكُمْ. And he sends down from the sky rain, which waters the earth, waters the plants, in order that and 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 we get rizq from that. We get our provisions because we benefit, of course, from the oxygen of the plants and all the other benefits. We benefit from the animals that feed off the plants and the insects. We eat them, the, the animals. And they eat the insects in turn. And, and there's the life cycle. Min fadli Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All that is from the rain. And aslan is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created all of this. And that's why we're ordered to worship Him. Because he, as Ibn Kathir said, وَهُوَ مُسْتَحِقْ لِلْعِبَادَةِ In re reference to verses, a verse similar to this, where Allah orders mankind to worship and shows in the verse, he mentions the, the 
beauty of the creation which he created and he said that he is truly the only one worthy of worship that's because of it's his creation he created this all of this this life system for us to benefit from to remind us of our duty to him subhanahu wa ta'ala and may Allah bless us to be of those who stay in the remembrance of him and truly practice that in our hearts and on our limbs wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam